So here we go, 90 minutes of racing, 78 laps, about to begin, the wind speed's 14 kilometers per hour. Rick Cardle will lead the field away, David God's alongside. Isaac Price, the winner from the last race, down in 18th position. Three lights on. We're green. Away they go. Rick with a great start. Ali Razor also with a good start. Already alongside David up into the first corner. Ali Razor has the outside line. And now the inside Massive line as we go into the back. Massive yeah. Massive. After that first corner crunch, Rick Cardle seems to have got away pretty smoothly, but behind that there's a big old scrap going on between Air Attack, Ali Razor and David Godz. Down into the first breaking zone, Ali Razor's got ahead of him. Now Godz is uh, fighting Patrick Hall from Race Green, Autosports, and Adam Brown's there for TC Racing in fifth place. Goz has gone onto the grass, that's going to open up the opportunity for the car behind, that's Adam. Adam Brown sends one up the inside of David Godz and makes the move. Great move there. One lap done here. Gods has made a move on the Kanko, or the Kanko making the move on Gods here. And if you see that yellow car behind them, that's, uh, that is already Isaac Price in 8th position right now. Thomas Ainer, meanwhile, well, down in 24th. We just went on board with him a moment ago. Three wide into the braking zone it will be between Sean Lee, Gods, and the Kanko. They've sorted it out. Here comes Isaac to 7th place already, as Tilo alluded to, he's making great progress through the grid here. See how he carves through the field, we're going on board with him. As he makes his way up to the last couple of corners. He's got Sean behind him, we've got a car off in the gravel. Yep, it's Jerry Katia flipped. Isaac's going for the move, he's side by side with David Godz here. Sean's going to try and follow him through from behind. Sean's going with him. Sticking onto the rear bumper of Isaac. Bit of a shove, but... Sean will be side by side with Godz through the chicane. He decides to drop him behind and will pull out of the strip stream quite early. Isaac, meanwhile has checked out ahead, he's up to 6th already. Ali Razor has managed to get past Rick Cardle at the front. So air attacks Ali Razor, Ibrahimian, up to 1st place currently. Then it's Rick Cardle for Sidus and Patrick Hall from Race Green in 3rd place with TC Racing's Adam Brown in 4th. Air attacks Sean Lee in 5th. Isaac, our winner from the last race, is up to sixth. Rick Cardle's dropped it in the grass, in the gravel, sorry, and that's going to drop him way down. Uh, Adam's just made a really nice move around the outside there to take the podium away from Rick temporarily. But Rick's now going to have his mirrors full of Isaac Price. William D. Sports driver making his way through the field. Remember that he started down in 18th three laps ago. Gets past Rick into the chicane. Sean was right up the back of Isaac Price a couple of laps ago, but Isaac's dropped him and uh, Sean wasn't able to utilise the draft or the track position that Isaac had ahead of him to kind of drag him through the field. So Sean's got all the work to do again to try and get back up. Sammy Littmanen, after a great race in the last race, is down in ninth currently. 
battling with Niva. As Niva cuts back through. As they hop over the big sausage curves at the exit of the chicane after turn one. Patrick Hall, meanwhile, is up into first place. We missed the overtake there. There must have been an incident between Ali Razor. Um, that may have been when Rick Cardle went off into the gravel. But anyway, Patrick Hall for race green, currently leading the endurance race after four and a bit laps. Patrick opening up a little bit of a gap over Ali Razor, who's dropped it. And now Adam Brown takes over second place. attack now up to third so Ali Razor dropping way down the order down to 22nd at the moment. Isaac Price is up to fourth and he's looking all over the rear of Sean Lee. How long will it be until Isaac gets up and starts battling with Patrick Hall for the lead of this race? Interestingly, uh, Sean Lee is one of the few drivers who drives on the right-hand side. Um, drivers here in this championship here to decide before the season on which side of the car they want to place their driver. Isaac is about to catch up to the back of Sean. He's going to have a good run onto the back straight, I would think. Draft. Tilo walk us through it. Goes to the right side, uh, inside for the next braking zone. The bright yellow car of Isaac tries. Can break much later than the uh, driver from Singapore. And a very easy move. And with that corner, he's already at the back of Adam Brown. Yeah, Isaac Price up to third place, podium position already, with seven laps gone. 71 remaining. Isaac sweeps to the left, down to the braking zone at 75 meters. Adam sends it in with him. Is he going to keep it tight? Yes. And good, well held off. Isaac stays right alongside into the right left. Is Adam going to yield or is Isaac going to yield? Adam won't yield. He'll fight for every centimeter of track that he can, and he holds the position for now, but got to think that it's futile. Isaac's all over the back of him. It's only a matter of time before this move is done. I think Adam's just got to hold his own and gets very sideways. But Isaac does it round the outside. Adam still has a nose, but Isaac moves up to second place in this race. They're scrapping. Let Sean Lee come back up along with it. So Sean's right on the back bumper of Adam going down. Turn one, but lets off and is not going to go for Adam in turn one. Isaac runs wide there. Adam is now again at the bump of Isaac. Meanwhile, yeah. a few cars behind, Sunny Littman is catching up to this move. Littman in three fastest laps in a row with a 108.29. Isaac last lap 109.83. So a second and a half faster for Sammy that last lap. got a whole kaggle of cars at the back of the field, uh, further down the field, sorry, between, we're, we're focusing on Lagukas here, he's got Jose ahead of him, and Dalkalska's behind. Thank you for that, Jonathan. We're watching TC Racing's Adam Brown, driving a little bit on his own. He's got Sean Lee and Sammy Lippmann behind, battling. Sammy Lippmann all over the back of Sean Lee right now. And Sammy Lippmann's teammate Rick Carnell is behind. Remember, Rick started this race on pole position. He's down to sixth place currently. Can he get a foothold back in this race and try to get closer to those podium positions and once again? Sammy with a decent exit, but Sean also got a very nice exit. Sean Lee goes defensive. Will the move 
be on by the end of the back straight. Unlikely from that distance. All the while that these two are battling, that's going to give Rick the opportunity to gain and Adam Brown in the white and red machine ahead the chance to pull ahead slightly. Sean Lee, lots of slide out of that corner under the zero mileage bridge. To the last couple of corners here. All over the back of Sean as we move on to lap 13. This the battle for fourth place. Sammy Lipman getting past Anya Collock there. We're on board with Thomas Enger. Currently down in 26th position. The move is on between Sammy Lipman and, and Sean Lee, meanwhile. Sammy is alongside. Adam will be enjoying seeing this in his mirrors. All the while these two are battling, it lets Adam focus on his job and stick ahead. But Sammy still side by side with Sean, and Sean has to yield that position. Oh, late breaking by Sean. I, for a moment, I thought he would go for the gap, but now it looks like he accepted his faith and uh, lets uh, that man go. We are riding with Rick Carl now, who is side by side with Jan Bukowski. Jan Bukowski driving for Conquest Racing. Rick moves to the to the eighth position again. Uh, Jan Witkowski was uh, past him just a moment before, but uh, is now starting his counter attack on the long straight, and that looked rather easy. So Ricardo now back into ninth position. Isaac's going to want to get around Patrick Hall as soon as he can. This is his only way to go. But Sam and Littman and Patrick Hall got a little wrong in turn one and Isaac almost punted him coming out of turn one just not expecting to be parked up there on the apex. Isaac's gonna have Patrick by this by mid midway down this back straight I think. Isaac's backing off just a little bit to get a good slipstream. Takes it, tucks out to the right, open air and new leader on the road. Isaac tries over Patrick Hall. Sammy Littman then is only two seconds behind Isaac right now. Looking he had uh, major body damage repaired during that time, so I wonder if he had a smash somewhere. Possibly. We have a battle on between Sean Lee, Marcel Neva, and Jabikowski. And you see here three different continents racing with each other. Sean Lee from Singapore. Uh, Jan Bikowski from Poland and uh, Marcelo Neva from Brazil. Sean Lee currently leading this group in fifth place in the yellow and black car. Jan Bikowski in the white and yellow car. Marcelo Neva in the blue car. Let's go on board with Jan. He sets his eyes firmly on the back of the air attack machine. He moves to the inside and gets the move done into the chicane. Nice move. And that again, it was a mistake into turn one. We've seen those uh, today a couple of times already. That drops short back into the clutches of Marcelo Neva. Marcelo on the outside now. to defend the position for now. 
Meanwhile, this is giving Piotr Goik all of the motivation he needs to catch up behind. They are now running up to the left, uh, David Bezeki. As David oh, Bezeki spins, spins into Sean into Lee. Sean Lee. Sean Lee involved in an incident with the spinning back marker. That's big damage on Sean's car. Absolutely huge damage. And that's dropped him way down the order. As we can see, his ailing car, Sean Lydon, moves past. So that's going to be a very long lap for Sean there. David Rosecki's car looking even worse. Um, unlucky there to be caught up in back marker traffic. That's going to be a very long lap for Sean. Uh, look at his car. It's uh, clearly a handful. That promotes Jan Wachowski to fifth and Neva to sixth. That battle somewhat neutralised now. Head on the road and makes the move stick into the corner before the final sector. Nice move. All over the back of Adam again, unless he drops it. Sammy Lippmann with the fastest lap, so definitely starting to claw back at Isaac now. But anyway, let's see how Jan fares down the back straight as he tries to line up Adam Brown. This is the move for fourth place that we are watching the battle for fourth place. Jan Bukowski in the white and yellow car for Conquest Racing. Gap's a little bit too big, so it'll have to wait. Adam clearly with the better exit out of the chicane, which is all important on that back straight where the slipstream is super powerful in the GT cars. But now within three corners, he's right at the back of Adam again. We're watching Nico Pantola battle with Maklowski. Nico Pantola trying to make the moves stick around the outside. Doesn't, doesn't quite pay off. He has to do the switch back. They're side by side into the chicane. Maklowski survives for now, forces Nico wide. Nico gets past, so nice move there. Nico in the end. Meanwhile, back up front with blue flag. Yeah. From Isaac Price. Oh, Adam gets forced out from onto the chicane as Jan Bukowski moves through. Not just not able to let Adam through cleanly there, so Jan makes the move, but Adam drops right back into the clutches of Piotr Goik now. There is a back marker between the two, but. A little bit of lap traffic getting in the way again here. Adam now trying to get past Thomas Enger. As cleanly as possible. As we have another retirement from the race. Thomas Stimarek unfortunately losing connection. Now it's Goik's turn. Goik's turn in the Conquest racing car to get past the back market and then chase down Adam Brown for the battle for fifth place. So as we approach the halfway mark here, we're currently on lap 37 of the race. Isaac Price leading just from Sammy Lippinen in second place, and then Race Green's Autosports Patrick Hall in third place, just rounding turn one now. Then it's Jan Bukowski for Conquest Racing, slightly behind him, closing the gap down all the time. Got a three-wide situation developing. With uh, Lagukas and Cardall in a battle, going through some lapped cars, Toth and Rusetsky, I believe, were in. No, correction, Thomas Nengo were getting lapped going into turn one. And 
Cardinal skating away from Lugugus coming out of the chicane now. Back straight away. So Lugugus and Rick battling for 7th place currently. Rick Cardinal driving for Sidus getting very sideways through the back chicane. Gives the last lap motorsport driver a bit of a chance to close up as Isaac Price sets the new fastest lap of the race at 107.56. Jose, uh, sorry, William Lima just getting past uh, David Gods there for 12th position. Let's go for a lap on board with Sammy Lippman and let you enjoy the sound of the XR GTR in Lip for Speed. Isaac there opens slightly to 2.7 seconds, but they are just trading tenths at this point. And Bukowski currently in fourth position, buying up Patrick Hall, who occupies the last podium space. We're on board with Jan Bukowski now. to the back straight. He clouds the curve quite a lot, but he's going to have the slipstream and I think the move's going to be on by the end of the back straight. Maybe even before. Massive credit to Patrick Hall, though, running in the top three for the first half of the race. Absolute consistent lap times from him. He did take great advantage of that reverse. And if he can get a good pit stop and keep up for the rest of the race, he will be rewarded with a really good points finish. For this is the battle for 10th place. No, sorry, Patrick is currently battling Igor. Igor yet to make his stop. Uh, the battle for 11th place. Uh, so Igor with less fuel on board, presumably, and better tyres at this stage of the race. Moves past Patrick Hall. Patrick's still trying to warm his tyres up. And but Igor's car doesn't really look fresh. No, it's been through the walls, that car. Yeah. Um, he's got some uh, suspension damage, it looks like. And now he gets the curving wrong and Patrick Hall is going to the inside for the next braking zone. Maybe even clearing him before that. Looks like that. He got trying to make the comeback around the outside. He keeps the momentum and he's back again in front of Hall. Meanwhile out front Isaac Price leads Sammy Lippmann by only a couple of seconds at the head of the race, both of which have not stopped, but will be stopping very soon, you would have thought. Isaac is about to lap Thomas Enger. Once again, Thomas moves out of the way. Let's Isaac have the inside line for the first corner. The gap between Isaac and Sammy Lippmann are now three and a half seconds as Sammy sets a new fastest lap at 107.54. Isaac has managed to open the gap slightly to those two. Sammy, meanwhile, is about to overtake Adam Brown. Sammy Isaac's has already made his pit stop. Adam Brown has not. Isaac Price is in pit lane. 
Ronaldo. Let's see where he comes out in relation to Sammy. We expect the gap to have opened up between Isaac and Sammy, because Isaac had the lower fuel load, potentially. Let's focus on Adam Brown as he defends from Sammy Lippinen. They are at different stages of their race, so Adam may not defend too hard. It looks like he's pushing his hardest. You may not know that Sammy already has pitted. Isaac with a one, second, one and a third second faster pit stop than Lippinen. Isaac is out onto the track. Um, Adam Brown and Teo Jose and Lagukas still yet to make their pit stop, so Adam and Lagukas going very, very deep into this race. Isaac is on the back straight, and Sammy Lippmann and Isaac, Isaac uh, sorry, Sammy Lippmann and Adam Brown a couple of seconds behind. Gap from Isaac to Sammy now about nine seconds. Four cars yet to make pit stops. Teo, Jose are yet to make their stops. We've got a battle on between Gotta Goik and Patrick Hall. Goik with a great slipstream run out of the final corner and a slipstream around Pat Hall. And Goik now firmly in seventh position. Patrick makes his way past. Petrovicius there, back marker. Peltikangas now has to do the same. But yeah, you're right. It does look to me like the road appraiser drivers are both trying to make the distance on one set of tyres. Oh, yeah, because this tyre just went down. Front right puncture just after the entry to the pit lane, and Adam Brown is now having an easy fight with Jose. Yep, Jose on the outside of Turn 1, limping around now. Uh, it's going to be a long lap for Jose. It's going to be dark for the UK. Yeah, he's going to go off. Yep, goes off into the grass. He's going to hit his teammate if he's not careful here. Nope, moves out of the way. Papenko is not going to be far behind at this rate unless he bails from the pit lane here with five left to go. Yeah, Pekanko has to pit now. He has to have seen that his teammate's tyres have popped. Their strategy has not worked, for one of them at least. So Jose just walking it in now. So that strategy not paying off. Goik on the back of Pekanko. Under the bridge in the final sector through the penultimate corner. Will Pekanko pit? No. Risk. It, Jose falls into the pits, hits the, hits the pit wall quite hard, and he's spun. Jose's spun it on pit entrance, he's now reversing into the pit lane. And finally he manages to get in. Going back into the top five. Okay, good. No defense at all on this strategy at this point in the race. No, Piotr Goik up to fourth place then. Uh, fifth place, my mistake. Adam Brown in fourth. Jan Bukowski still in third. Sammy Lippmann trails Isaac Price. Isaac, Isaac Price with the new fastest lap. Just saw Sean Lee up onto the grass behind Piotr Goik there. Sean Lee with a puncture. So Sean Lee back into the pit lane for the second time this race. Remember he pitted very early on in the race with damage. I guess he just was trying to eat those tyres out so he didn't have to make the second stop, but Sean Lee into the pits for the second time with a puncture, misses his pit box in fact, and has to stop at a later one. Pelt Kangas once again, trying to get past Patchy Call, the move will be on at the end of the back straight. Which way is he going to go? He moves to the outside. He has the overspeed, which has to pull back in behind. Patrick has no defence right now. So this battle for seventh is still very much alive. And, and for sixth, even because uh, the, uh, in front of them is uh, Bicanco. Um, 
but him, him. Now, Hall has a slip stream on Peltakangas from Tonko. So Hall got a triple slip stream. Hall had to break, he had to lift out. He got held up, boxed in. So Hall right on the back of Peltakangas as Panko has dropped down to the eighth position as Isaac on the final lap of the race with three quarters of the lap to go. So Hall with a shot at sixth place as Jan Witkowski sets a fast lap at 107.39. Last ditch fast lap by Jan Bukowski showing the field that he's no one to be messed with. Let's go on board with Isaac. Isaac. Price into the final sector. Yep. Isaac Price started this race in 18th position, having won the sprint race and sent down the order due to the reverse grid start. Wins! the first round of the Bagheera Zero Mileage GT Cup. Congratulations to him. Then it's Sammy Lippmanen in a valiant second place. Then it'll be Jan Bukowski with his last ditch fastest lap of the race. He's just making his way around the last couple of corners. He's about to lap Alia Kolot again and he crosses the line. Now to take the last step on the podium, congratulations to him. Next it will be TCR, TC Racing, Adam Brown, just a little bit behind in fourth place, narrowly missing out on the podium, a great drive from him. He's closely followed by Piotr Goik, who will cross the line in fifth place. Then it's Pelta Kangas and Patrick Hall with that great Grandstand finish that we saw there between those two. Rick Cardle close behind in eighth place. Pedro Bacanco, ninth he place. Got it in. Fair play. Congratulations to him for making those tyres last the distance. That's, that's a very interesting strategy. Um, William Lima in tenth place. We're going to wrap up the stream now. Um, I'd like to thank Jonathan Palmer and Tilo Falkenberg for joining me in the commentary box. Thanks again to our race director, Robert Kotlab, and uh, Yaroslav Shevchik on the cameras and the stream director and thanks again to the admins from the other grids today for their work full results should be online after this race um, thanks also to all of the sponsors for today's race as Bagheera Racing uh, Zero Mileage Lubricants and um, the other partners for the this series. I've been Peter Butcher, the Butcher's Tip Sim Broadcasts. We will be back in a few weeks for round two. Join us again next time. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. See you later.